Why did you bring that lady to our house? She's my friend. She's the one I met the other day. Now go there and ask her to leave. Why? One minute. Why? Don't ask me stupid questions. Just go and tell her to go. What's good? What's good? I said tell her to go. What has come over you? Stop questioning me. Tell her to go. For this life where I come so, I don't use my eyes to see my ear. For my life I do, I don't tire. Joe person no see. Man person no see. If I continue like this, then my baby try will not go, will not go read very soon. Ah ah. Don't be sad, no fine. Have you no smart? I don't just understand. If I say get other things where girls they do well, I know they do well. Mary J, you need to think. Oh. You need to think and act fast. Otherwise, <laughs> you go just turn old cargo. Money you no go see for chop. What does Lucy want now? She be this girl who go just let me be. She shall won't form my hand this time around for this place. Sorry. Hello? Dear Mary Jane, did you take my waist trainer? What? what? Listen, um, I'm just about to go for an interview right now. I'll have to call you back much later. Mary Jane, I need you to return my waist trainer now. Rubbish. Miss Mary Jane, over. Present. You can go in now. Okay. Coming. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Please sit. Thank you, sir. You are Miss Mary Genova, am I correct? Yes, sir. Good. I must admit that your resume is very impressive. Thank you very much, sir. Well, there are certain things about you that are not embedded in this resume. 
So I would like you to tell me about yourself and how you got to know about our company. All right, sir. Um, my name is Miss Mary Jane Oba. I am a graduate of international relations. I, I got to know about your company from my friend. Mm. Wow, Papa. What a day. Wow, Papa. Have fun. Let's have you try. Sorry. I didn't know you wanted to go out. No vest. At least you would have told me now. I didn't know. I wanted to at least pack it myself. Hey, you know, for the very first time, I'm going for something big like this. I have to package now. As I no get, my friend gets. I borrow nothing. I beg. Don't look here. Have fun. Hmm. My sister. See this town? Eh. Yeah. You know it's you. Now to pack my things, they go back up. Yeah. As I still there alive. And they tell you. I don't suffer. Oh. So far today. So you didn't get the job? I did the interview now, as always. Did it and they said they would get back to us. Their normal lines. So me, I don't know. As I am now, I'm hopeless. I don't know what will happen. I don't know whether they will go or they will not go. So we have told you. I've told you, join this online business. There is money in it once you've built your client base. Which online business? Do you know what I'm doing? I've been going to tell me that thing. I don't suffer for my life. You see this type of day? I don't suffer. This is too much. See, my mindset right now is to sit down at a particular place and mm. be counting serious means. Not to be stressing myself. Ah! Oh, get it down. I put on waffle. It's too much. You don't forget for Joe Elegba. I suffer. Faba, your click away self for there. Or what the petty, petty business is what I don't do for my life. Ah, this is the time for me to reap the fruit of my labor. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, what I want right now is to be working in a very big firm. Having an office of my own. Mm. Yes, with a good AC pouring me on the head. Let my body be coming down. I'm so far. I okay. beg. Do you know what you do for me now? You see that waist trainer on your waist? Mm? Go and remove it before you use your big stomach to expand it. You're a big fool. Hey. Mm. I don't know say you follow for what they do. You don't see your life. You're not talking to me anyhow because of, oh, I talk and say frustration there, my body. You feel they give me frustration because of ordinary 15,000 naira with trainer. Hey, you see this life? I must make money. Oh, come on. Man, 15,000 naira with trainer, give me a shot of Don't worry. I will go pull up. No wahala. No wahala. It's well. No problem. Oh, my God. Honey, I'm back. Oh, my darling. Oh, you're here? Yes, baby. How are you? Come here. How are you? Mm. Mm. How is your day? Very hectic. Uh huh. Yes. Mm. I, Sorry. I conducted interviews for candidates who scaled through our selection process oh. for the position of the company secretary. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, how is it? Fine. I missed you. Come on, give it to me. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go upstairs. Mm. Wait, stop it. Stop what? Let's go upstairs. So you freshen up. Can I make you something to eat? Okay? Are you sure you want me to stop? Ah, uh, baby. Stop. <laughs> stop being flirtatious. Stop it. Flirtatious? Mm. Flirtatious towards my wife? Let's go upstairs, baby. Come on, I have something to tell you. Tell me. Have it. Stop it. Let's go. Oh, oh, come here. You just walk a sleeping lion. Come here. Let's and go. And it will take you a lot to know it back to his death. Let's go. Come let's give go. it to me the way I like it. Let's go. You know I like it from the rear. <laughs> oh, baby. Sleepy head. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hope you slept oh. well. Yeah. How are you? I'm okay. So, are you not getting ready for work? Work? Mm-hmm. I can decide to stay all day with you at home. 
at this bed. I think you're just becoming lazy and naughty these days. Not mm-hmm. at all. We have a company to run. I know, I know. Oh, I got no play. What if we take a vacation? Hmm. You're spoiling me too much. <laughs> you love me so much, don't you? Of course I do. I love you, baby. Okay? What is the problem? It's just that I'm so fortunate. You know, when my last marriage ended so shortly, I never knew I'd meet a man like you. I'm so fortunate to have you. I love you. I love you too. I'm equally fortunate to have you. I always have this in mind. Our marriage is a match made in heaven. Okay? I mean, this is our second marriage. And now it has dawned on me that they had to leave for us to meet each other. You're right. We're a match made in heaven. Yeah. Okay, get ready. Let me prepare breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. <laughs> get ready. It's like you have a message from Eco Logistics or something. Eco Eco's Logistics, yeah. Check it. That's, that's the company I went for the interview. Really? Open it. <coughs> what? What's that? What happened? Hey! You got it. I'm cutting it. Congrats, girl. <coughs> Give me another one. You're going to have my bath. Yes! <coughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come in. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. You're welcome. Okay, sir. Please, have a seat. <laughs> Miss Mary Jane Oba. Yes, sir. Your employment letter is ready. Oh, yeah. thank you very much, sir. The receptionist will show you to your office. A job description will be given to you. She will also put you through on the do's and don'ts of the company. Thank you very much, sir. I sincerely appreciate this. I promise to give my best. Welcome on board. Thank you, sir. You're expected to resume immediately. Immediately? Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. God bless you. Okay. Accept my warmest congratulations. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this is your office. You will be working as his executive assistant. So you will handle most of his paperwork and schedules. You have to always be on standby whenever he needs you. All right. Thank okay. you so much. I'm sorry, please. Okay. Sorry. He didn't mention anything about my fee. Should I have asked? I'm sure he's written in your employment letter. 
Oh, sorry, my bad. I, okay. I didn't read really it properly. I'll leave you. I'll now. go through it. Thank you. Okay. Sixty thousand naira for one month. How do one won't take do me now? How can a graduate be earning sixty thousand naira? Now wow. Just transport fair you. Don't chop that one finish. Hmm. But this office fine, sha. Huh? Now this one they say person go day inside heaven. They chop and can it. Hmm. No, Wahala. Who give me a steady and chop? Last, last, we will do okay. I don't get choice. But at least, I go there for here. They find another one. If I see any better one, <sighs> not you. Hmm, just well. Where is this girl? Huh? What is wrong with her? Uh, sir! Hey! I'm, I'm sorry sir, you're here. Why did you leave your desk? I, I went to use the, the restroom. I'll be going out for now. Reschedule all my meetings for tomorrow. Okay sir. Most importantly, go through the company's email. There are messages that needs to be responded to. Okay, sir. Make sure you acknowledge them before the end of the day. Okay, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Hey. Hey. See better man. See correct man now. Person will catch this one, catch better fish. God, wait here until you. What thing I do you? You know, could they send this kind man come my way? Make my life for better? No, all these coupe boys will never chop well, clean yash well, and I they send my way. Huh? Anyway, it is well. What a bad day. Mary J, is there anything in the matter? Um, no, sir. Um, I just, um, I just need you to, to sign this. Okay. Yeah.
Okay, it's done. Oh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mamanuko Agumani. Check me out and balance me well. Check my office. What are you sewing? <laughs> Baby girl, what's up? Now, boss lady, you be. Wait, 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 wait. Did they assign this whole office to you? Ew. Yeah. Maybe because any of you leave a house, you don't talk anyhow. I'll just. You see, level. Level clear. Look at my office. Hmm. You don't know my position here. Oh, it's quite big. <laughs> see now, see this AC. If they blow, I don't want to bust my brain. Because anytime we just to touch me for body, people like say they just pour me cold water. <laughs> I beg life good do. Life good when you enjoy. When there is money. <laughs> hey! At least it will make your body fresh and your skin will start to glow. I am telling you, once you just draw for your body, it will be like say they pour you cold water. I love this place, oh. In your bag, enjoy your office, Jerry. Nothing do you. Hey! My dear. <laughs> they go here, Amo. They go here, Ram. What I'll just be doing is taking good, good shots. Giving them on the ground. Putting my location. Chilling in my office. You want to go? <laughs> Baby! Somebody! <laughs> So, so sorry, sir. So, 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 so sorry, sir. Um, what is wrong with you? What was the meaning of that? So, sorry, uh, my apologies. This is my, my girlfriend. Sorry. Are you not aware that it's unethical to do that? <sighs> I want the import bills for last month on my table, first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, sir. I'm expecting an invitation for a book lunch. The moment you get it, tell them that I will send a representative. Oh, very well, sir. Miss Mary Genova. Sir? The attitude you just displayed must never happen again. I never will, sir. Never. Welcome, oh, KCJ. Lucy, Lucy, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, indeed a liar. trouble today. Wait, was that your boss? Yes. Oh my god. His voice is so sexy. Mary, Mary. Mama says And what is this supposed to mean? Now I understand. Understand what? Understand the dress, colon. Mm. Obodo, the title. Oh, grab so all you can grab. Obodo, the very title. Yes. That's what I'm trying to see. How can Nahi look at me from head to toe? I, I have responsibilities. I'm a full-grown woman. I need to take care of myself. Okay. How can I survive with ordinary 60,000 naira? My mates are buying bone streets. Me taking care of themselves. Is it this? My dear, how to try my eye? The day will come. Is he showing any green lights? <laughs> you want to hear the truth? Mm. As he stands now, the man is still showing me 100% red lights. So, he's not even giving me any signal at all. But calm down. Is he not me again? He was definitely come around. So, you are... Warming up, of course. And Matima one up. Hey, so. Ajongwa. Is it bongwa? Hey, I trust you. Well, you needed to have seen the way he scolded me. Sweetheart. Amara. Amara.
to it out. Oh. You've already gone to bed. <laughs> Darling. It's just 8 p.m. You're back. Yes, I am. Is anything the matter? No, I was just bored. You were just bored? You should have watched television. There are other things to do, rather than going to bed early. Is there something you're not telling me? It's only the presence of children that can make the house lively. It's only the presence of children that can make the home of a newlywed lively. Stop. Stop. You just said newlywed. So why stress yourself over something that God will do at the appropriate time? It's been three years. I know. But it's still very early. Listen to me, baby. What is more important to me is you. I love you. All I desire is your love. I know that when the time comes, God will give us children and we will accept them with gratitude. For now, don't allow it to eat you up, okay? It's okay. I want you to be fine. Thank you. Oh God, this is what they mean by the enemy we know lives within. What exactly do you mean by that? Are you trying to seduce everyone at your office or what? Well, I'm trying to look good for my work. Do you have a problem with that? Dressed like this. Uh huh. What is wrong with my dressing? Everything. Come on. This dress is inappropriate for work. And who are you to tell me what is appropriate and what is inappropriate? This is how you people go about with your local mentality, looking for who's mood to spoil. But certainly not mine. You won't spoil mine. Do you understand? Mary Jane, even in the Western world, people don't dress like this to work. Mary Jane. There's an appropriate dress for work. Amazing. Yes. Mary Jane, even in the Western world, people... What are you talking about? Why don't you come and pull it? Pull it! Fashion police. You just tell me that you're, you're jealous of what I'm wearing. Hey, baby girl, what's up? How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. All right, um, I noticed that the boss isn't in his office. Why? He's not coming today. He called me to tell me he won't be coming. I thought he called you too. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, no, I mean, my phone was switched off, so well, that's why. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Um, I'll be in my office, okay? okay. Hey. My beautiful darling. Why are you not dressed for work? Well, there is no work for me today. Why? I took a day off. And guess what? I'm spending the entire day with you. But you don't have to. Why will you say that? I have to. I want to see you happy at all times. Okay? And it is my responsibility to make sure that you are happy. So today, I have decided to spend every second with you. Come on. Okay, let's go have breakfast. Okay. Mm. 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mary Jean. Are you okay? Yeah, what is it? What happened? He, he didn't even come come to work today. Today of all days. Who? Oh, your boss. <laughs> Yeah. This is how people lose it. Well, you can laugh for your car. Don't have your car. <laughs> Sweetheart, is anything the matter? My period was late. So I thought it's negative again, right? Yes. It's okay. Let me have it. Just just stop, okay? There is time for everything. Put a stop to this. Come. Huh? I don't like this. Sweetheart. Your attitude to this is beginning to eat me up. It's affecting me. Put a stop to this. I want you to make me a firm promise that it will not happen again. I don't want to see you in this mood again. The time has come for you to go out there. Visit your friends. Let them in turn visit you. Go to the mall. Go to the movies, or better still, come back to the office. I don't think I'm ready to work now. Then what are you ready to do? Sit back all day and sulk? Honey, brooding will not solve this problem. Okay? I want you to be happy. That's all I'm asking for. Be happy. Okay? I just hope you understand. I do understand. I understand how you feel. But in the midst of all this, understand that I love you and that I will always love you. As far as I'm concerned, you are all that matter to me. Okay? You two should make me happy. Like I said, Visit your friends. Go and have fun. Okay? Just be happy. I love you, baby. And I'll always love you. Between now and the next couple of hours, promise me that I'll see a different you. I promise. with you? Uh, uh, everything is just fine. So it's just that I was having a headache, so I was trying to touch my neck. Sorry for that. Um, sir, would you want me to do anything for you? Well, I have a meeting to attend, and I want you to come with me. Okay? Oh, very well, sir. You will have to pick up your belongings, because the meeting might extend into the night. 
Good. Why not, sir? Ready. So tell me something here. You love your job? Yes, I, I love my job. Any complaint? Mm. Not really. Like, there's no complaints, sir, except uh, the pay. Oh, the pay? Well, the salary for now is small because you're on probation. I will observe you for three months. And after that, the company will decide if it wants to keep you. But I must say that your attitude to work will determine that. So once your conduct is satisfactory, the company will review your salary. Okay? No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mm. Hmm. So tell me, do you like music? Not all music, though. Wow. So what's your best genre? For me, I like countryside. <laughs> I love high life. High life? <laughs> For a young lady like you. <laughs> I don't I don't even know why I I love it a lot. It intrigued me. Ah, I'm surprised. I thought it's for the old school. <laughs> Maybe I'm old school and I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I like it, sir. Well, that's good. Oh, baby, you're back. <laughs> How's your day? Did you go out today? Baby, Namdi, Namdi. Today, babe, now wow. This is your work they are coming back at this time. But then we went for a meeting. We, as in we, you and your boss? Yes, my boss and I. Bad girl. What is wrong with you? It was just a meeting. Besides, he was the one that asked me to go with him. And you agreed? Oh, I should have turned him down. Yeah. As what? Are you the one paying me? Why should I turn him down? <laughs> Anyways, how did it go? Anyways, it went well. I am famished and I need to eat. Did you cook? Yes, there's food in the pot. I trust you.
<laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mary Jane. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, you look beautiful in this outfit. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Keep it up. Thank you. To be so dangerous. Use what you've got to yeah. And so for love, I just the start. So, no way. He left the town letting me know. He didn't even touch the food I served him. Yes. I will fix it once your file gets to my table. Okay. All right. I can't get a better chance than this. Lord, please, forgive what I'm about to do right now. But I need this big fish in my life. I am tired of eating crabs. Sir. Ah, uh, Mary Jane. I'm sorry, I was wondering if you're going my way. New Heaven. Um, actually, I intend hanging out with a couple of friends before oh. I head home. You know, it's weekend. Oh, okay, sir. Sorry, I'll just take a bus. Bye. Uh, Mary Jane. Sir? On a second thoughts, what's your itinerary for the weekend like? Nothing really much, sir. Just going home. Uh, I think you should hang out. You know, it's been a very long and stressful week. What do you think? Yeah, yes, boss, but I do not have plans for the weekend. Uh, do you mind hanging out with me? <laughs> Coming from you, boss, I can't decline. So, it's a yes? It's a yes, boss. Let's go then. All right. Everybody's hustling, everybody's bustling. They wanna make it no matter what it takes. Trying to survive one way or another. They be ready to do just anything. At all, at all, now in bad past. Nobody wants to carry last. Some people go way too far. Just, just to make it anyway. At all, at all, now in bad past. Nobody wants to carry last. Darling. My love, what have I done? 
Why are you punishing me? What did I do? And what else do you expect? I am doing exactly what you know how to do best. Always wearing a long face as if you bear the burden of this world on your shoulders. What have I done this time? That's the question. That's your usual question. You don't just want to take responsibility. What have I done? You've done enough. And I'm sick and tired of it. Have a look at yourself. Very young Kent, my wife. You no longer take good care of yourself. What manner of woman have you become? My wife suddenly has become an introvert. What is wrong with you? Listen to me, Amara. I love you, and you know that. I do everything for you. I go out of my way to make you happy. But all I am asking is that you reciprocate that gesture. That's all. Make me happy. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I am sick and tired of your apologies. Amara, I want actions. Concrete actions. I want to see change. I want to see a total transformation. I want to see you come back to that woman that I married. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay. Feel free, Amara. Come out of your shell. Visit your friends. Go to the salon. Come back to the office. Amara. Get yourself involved in something rather than staying at home all day. Am I asking for too much? I'm sorry about that, sir. Boyfriend? <laughs> no. Didn't you tell your boyfriend he's not supposed to call you while you're at work? No, sir. Um, I do not have a boyfriend. Why are you pretending as if you're surprised by my question? But that's the truth. You're I... telling me you don't have a boyfriend? I honestly do not have a boyfriend, sir. Mary Jane. You don't have a boyfriend. Sir, it might be difficult for you to believe me, but that's the truth. I don't. That's very difficult to believe. Well, that's the truth, sir. Well, you can take these documents to the office. Okay. Okay? okay. Make sure you file them separately and complete the paperwork for the clients. Sure, sir. Send it to them via courier. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Ooh. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Who then takes care of that colossal ass?
Damn it. Oh, how could I have missed him? Everybody's hustling, everybody's bustling. Wanna make it no matter what it takes. Trying to survive one way or another. They'd be ready to do just anything. Cause at all, at all, nothing bad pass. Nobody wants to carry life. Hello? I just came out from the shopping mall. Okay. Okay. What am I seeing? Let me call you back. Amara! Let me do it back! Amara Chupo Toba! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Nice to see you! Same here! What are you doing here? I, I just came I, I just came to pick up some things. Oh nice! Wow! <laughs> I thought you were in a bar. What are you doing here? Yes, I was, but I relocated because I got a job here. Oh, you don't work in this town? I don't work here. What about you? Do you? I also work here, but not at the moment, though. Okay. Oh, it's so <laughs> nice to see you. Look at you. Come here. Yes. Yeah, it's been four years now. No, no, no. It's been five years, actually. No, it's been four years. Five I'm years. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Really? <laughs> we need to catch up. Where are you headed? Um, I actually want to pick up something, then I will leave. No, you have to leave that thing. I need to catch up with you. Oh, what's up? What's up? Are you? You will never change. change. No, you always love me that way. What's up? Oh, my goodness. Sweetheart. My love. You're back. Yes, baby, I'm back. Oh, well. Thank you, my love. Wow. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Very impressive. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Good. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So tell me, how did it go? Well, um, I went to the mall. Um, I had a busy day, actually. I even ran into my old friend. Oh, really? Yes. Maybe. We used to be very close during uni days. Yeah, I met her today. Interesting. And where does she stay? Um, somewhere around New Heaven. She even works in a company. Do you know I forgot to ask her the name? <laughs> you see, I want more of such interactions, okay? Hang out with your friends, see the movies, go to malls. Just have fun. Do what ladies used to do. <laughs> I will. <laughs> My love. I'm sorry, baby. I love you, okay? I love you too. I will always love you. Hmm? Thank you. Guess what? I prepared something delicious. Aww. You'll love it. Let's Aww. go. You're so come, sweet. Come, come, baby. Aww. Let's what go. What can I do without you? <laughs> Um. I'm sorry, sir. Um, you, you sent for me. Where have you been, Mary Jane? I asked after you. Well, I was wondering if you would want to accompany me to a dinner organized for the executive cadre. Well, of course, sir. Uh, I would love to. Good. It's on a Saturday. I hope you don't have other plans. <laughs> what other plans? I'm free, sir. Okay. Then I'll send you a cab. Where exactly do you stay? At New Heaven. Oh, oh. That's on the way. I'll pick you up then. Uh, okay, sir. Good. The dinner will extend deep into the night. Okay. Don't bother waiting for me, okay? When you feel like sleeping, go to bed. It's fine. Just take care of yourself, okay? And you be a good girl. Sure, I will. Love you. Love you. Hi, Bye. Bye. Hi. Be careful.
<laughs> How do I look? You look good. Thank you. That's what I want to ask you. Those men are damaging. Won't they be coming with their wives? Mm -hmm. Who cares if they come with their wives? Who cares? It's the way you're dressed. <gasps> it's nobody's business. Listen, I noticed something about you recently, Lucy. You talk too much, and it's not good for you. <laughs> Always try to zip it. <laughs> Meanwhile, my boss is waving outside. But what goes around comes around. Yeah, yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> problem. Could be ready before danger. Mm -hmm. Now so I holla just the start. Use what you've got to yeah. get what you need. It was a nice outing. Yes, boss. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> See you in the office on Monday. Good night. Night. Oh, Mo. This one no be like them, Mo. It be like see he get principles. Is there anything the matter? Everything is just fine, sir. Good night. Night. This is my opportunity sleeping off my hands. <laughs> I don't think I can ever get a better chance than this. Is anything the matter? Yes. What is wrong with you? Sir, nothing is wrong. I mean, don't you find me appealing? Am I not attractive? Mary Jane, are you okay? You're attractive. You're beautiful. But I am your boss. You work for me. Sir, it doesn't really matter. You shouldn't look into that. I know you want me. Just as, as much as I want you. It does matter, okay? I'm going home to my wife. See you on Monday. supposed to be doing this why not okay let's go inside um I have a roommate but there's a hotel down the road we can go there and what then are we waiting for so let's go everybody's hustling everybody's bustling wanna make it no matter what it takes trying to survive one way or another they be ready to do just anything What's going on? You did what? Mary Jean! Mm -hmm. What did I do that has never been done in this world? What? Aproku. This kid. This won't end well. It won't.
Amara. Amara. You didn't tell me the party was going to last through the night. Well, a lot of issues came up for discussion. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that it would last through the night. Are you sure? Are you doubting what I told you? I hope breakfast is ready. I'll join you shortly. get dressed. Don't you think it's time to go? I was thinking you're going to spend the night with me again today. My wife will be worried. <sighs> but you told me you enjoy spending the night with me. Of course I do. I enjoy spending time with you. But listen to me, Mary Jane. Whatever we have together ends in this hotel room. Okay? I don't want to hurt my wife. I agree with you, but am I not so human? Of course you are. I'll get you a cab. Cab? Aren't you dropping me? No, I'm not. Wow. <laughs> Your house is not bad. Thank you. So where is Lucy? She she went she went on for weekend. Oh. Yes. Nice. That was nice. What's happening to you, Amarachi? How do you mean? Ah, please, I do not want you to get offended over this question I'm about to ask you right now. Are you happy in your marriage? Yes. My husband is a wonderful guy and he takes care of me. I'm fine. But you don't look it, though. You honestly do not look happy because the amarachi that i know is livelier than this listen babes talk to me okay two heads are better than one you are being too quiet i know you three years and no child oh yeah, but three years is just like yesterday. To people. But if you're the one wearing my shoes, you understand. Three years is like three decades to me. I I honestly understand. Okay, have you tried other options? Yes. My husband is very supportive. But you know, for how long? He will get tired eventually. I know that men can be very unpredictable most times. I wouldn't like to you. So, but that's why I asked if you've tried other options. What about you? <laughs> I think I still have some strange reserve to dance at your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we who gets boyfriend the wed. Mm. <laughs> so, so, are you saying someone? Of course, you should be saying someone. Come on, look at you. 
men should be lining up for you. <laughs> you know, you used to be the one that every guy wants to go out to. Yes, you know, right? <laughs> What's up, man? You never change. You will never change. <laughs> yes, I'm actually in a relationship. Oh, wow. That's a strong nice. one at that. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Is it serious? It depends what you mean by serious. I mean, is it a committed relationship or just for fun? Although it should be a serious relationship, look at you. You're not getting any younger. I'm even surprised you're not married by now. Oh my god, you're just so funny. Oh, you don't know. I have a very serious relationship. Oh, wonderful. Be very serious. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, he has done the need for. Why? He's paid my dowry already. You know, you know, I just got a job. Yeah. So when I'm well settled, then we can now proceed with other things. And of course, mm -hmm. you and your husband must be there on the high table on that of day. Course. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. <gasps> well, maybe one of these days we should all hang out so you mm -hmm. get to meet my husband. And you get to meet my fiance. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wonderful. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so wow. much. And listen, my dear, don't worry yourself, okay? Very soon. Before you know it, children will come mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Twins, Amen. I prophesy. Amen. Receive it. Amen. I receive. <laughs> it has I happened. Receive. I receive. Yes, my daughter. So you have your drink. Thank you. Have your yeah. drink. That was a really good slap you gave me there, Amarachi, without raising your hands. You had the gods to make fun of me still being single. I don't blame you. Nami opened or give you chin if you sit down. Shaving at this husband, I go follow Geta. I must get my own. <laughs> <laughs> nice house. Thank you. Wow. Hey, baby. What's the meaning of this? Come on, my love. What's the meaning of what, honey? What? You know, the thing is that I was missing you, so... I decided to come see you. Please stop. I don't like this. What exactly should I stop? Okay, you know what? I actually forgot my underwear at home. Would you like to take a look? You shouldn't be doing this in my office. I shouldn't be doing what? After all, we're a couple now. Huh? Couple? What do you mean by that? Have you suddenly forgotten those nights in the hotel? How you kissed my neck and touched my whole body? You longed for me as if you've never touched a woman all your life. Wait a minute. Do not tell me all those were fake. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it happened between you and I. I was even thinking by now you should be longing for me. But with the way you're doing, you're clearly telling me that you need more time for you to get acquainted to us. Listen to me, Mary Jane. There is no us. There is absolutely no us. The sex we had was consensual. You wanted it, I wanted it. You were the first to kiss me. You took me to the hotel. And you followed. You followed and kept following. I didn't tie a nose around your neck and dragged you to the hotel. You complied. You wanted it as much as I wanted it. So that's it. That was because I, I thought... You thought I was a whore? I mean, what woman sleeps with any man just like that? Who does that? Even whores do catch feelings sometimes. Mary Jane, I must sound this as a note of warning. You must stop this. What is wrong with you? Have you forgotten that I'm still your boss? Oh, uh, really? My boss? So you just realize that you're my boss now? Okay, boss, I've heard you. In case you need me, I'll be in my office. But my advice to you is that you should stop playing too hard to get it. Because we're in this already. Yeah, we're in it already. We're going nowhere. Besides, you think I'm a child? I am 33 years old and I have not come here to play. Okay, get that into your head. I can see you're deranged. You are absolutely deranged. You belong to the psychiatric home. Get out of my office. You see, I said get out. You look more cute when you get angry. <laughs> you know, the thing is, um, I'll be in my office like I said. And when you need me, I will be ready for you anytime. Get out. 
I know you're tired. What kind of thing is this? How, how did I get involved in this? I'm dealing with a psychopath. Are you crazy? You threaten your own boss. What has come over you, girl? Nothing has come over me. I am completely sane. Nothing is wrong with me. I mean, what do you think? That I came to this town to count bosses? No! I came to make money. Yes! And I also want a man. Come on. We get older every day. I need a man of my own. I thought you said you needed money. Yes. But. I need a man, I need money. Most especially, I need a man I can spend his money. Using one stone to kill two birds isn't a bad thing, is it? Your job. Have you thought about your job? What stupid job? What useless job? 60,000 naira job, is that what a job? Eh? Look at me from head to toe. Do I look like someone that 60,000 naira can sustain? 60,000 naira cannot sustain me. That one is not a job. It's not. My sister, I, I don't vest. I'm not going to try him. I'm not going to do this nonsense again. I cannot be accepting to eat sardine when the big shark is seated right in front of me. I'm not going to do it more. I will not try it. No, I won't. Mary Jane, he's a married man. A married man. Do you think that he's going to leave his wife for you? Married man also? Yes. Married man how? Married men do it on a daily basis. They leave, they leave their houses to their side chicks. And what if it may not even happen? Do you understand? It happens every day. We might all be different. Will it? Huh? Now wow. Now what for why yet, my sister? I am telling you the way it is. In fact, right now I am so paranoid. Because I don't know why this is happening. Whenever it comes to my own case, it's always different. Go to the corporate world and say exactly what is happening. Eh? The real deal. Secure the money back and not the change. Get that into your head. Shock me. You shock me. Hey! Mary Jane. <laughs> I don't understand. Is anything the matter? What is wrong with you? Sir, nothing is wrong. I mean, don't you find me appealing? Am I not attractive? Mary Jane, you are attractive. You're beautiful. But I am your boss. You work for me. Sir, it doesn't really matter. You shouldn't look into that. I know you want me. Just as, as much as I want you. Okay. Let's go inside. Um, I have a roommate. But there's a hotel down the road. We can go there. And what then are we waiting for? Well, let's go. Is that not a call from the office? It's not important. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask, what's been going on in that office? Do you care to share? Well, nothing much. Just work. Work? I'm thinking I want to resume work. 
<clears throat> Definitely not now. Why? I am of the opinion that you are not ready. But you've always wanted me to come back to the office. <clears throat> Sweetheart, I will be going now, okay? We will talk about this when I return. Have a nice day. I want the file for Basalt Enterprises on my table. First thing tomorrow morning. Okay, sir. Okay? Okay. And one more thing. Excuse us. Okay, sir. You sent for me, sir. Mary Jane. A lot has been going on in my mind lately. And I think it has become necessary for me to vent my frustration. It has become obvious that the employer-employee relationship that exists between us has become very toxic. And therefore, it is time to severe that link. My sack letter? It has become pertinent. <laughs> I don't have a choice. If it what you want is for me to leave your office and not work here again, then it's fine. You're not just going to leave my office. You're going to leave my life. Mm. Yes, you're leaving my life, Mary Jane. Whatever happened between us has happened. And you will no longer threaten me with it anymore. No problem. If that's exactly what you want me to do, then it's fine. Maybe I should just post it on the internet, let people be the judge of that. And what do you mean by that? You heard me, sir. Maybe I was wrong. Just maybe. I read a different meaning to it. But let me show the world, let them be the judge of that. Because you, you brought me to this. You acted like you want me now and then the next minute you, you, you threw me out of the door. Who does that? Why are you accusing me falsely? I am not accusing you. I'm telling you what you have done to me. So you used me. You used me so much. And when I, I started demanding for respect, what did you do? You started tossing me around like a piece of shit. From all indication, you are crazy. You are absolutely crazy. Okay. It's fine. You know you wronged me and that's totally unfair, so you know that. This is how you bosses go around sleeping with your employees. And when you, you find out that they're, they're becoming a threat to you, you just sack them without even caring how they feel. You're very crazy. You, you don't care about their welfare. You're there. very crazy. No, you are the one that is crazy. You mad, you bastard. What is all this? You... Is everything all right, sir? Get back to work. Okay, sir. Really? I'm sorry I yelled. You caused it. Tell me exactly what you want. How much do you want? Why are you making this thing so difficult for me? You're standing as if I'm here because of your money. No. Sweetheart, I am here because of you. I am a married man for God's sake. Then make me your mistress. It's not going to happen. Hmm? It will never happen. I am a married man, and I love my wife. Take whatever money I want to offer you, and live my life. I don't want you to see it as if I'm giving it to you out of sympathy. Because women like you always play the victim. Take the money and live my life. I don't want to ruin my reputation. It's about reputation now, right? Mary Jane, I must tell you from the depth of my heart that I love my wife. I value my marriage, and I want it to remain like that. I am willing to offer you 500,000 Naira, alongside your sack letter. That's about eight months' salary. You can have it and live my life. Have a good day. You turned it down. Mm -hmm. What is 500,000 Naira? Why shouldn't I turn it down? Do you know that this man can decide to withdraw his offer and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it? My sister, let him withdraw. 
I don't have a problem with that. I will even be happy if he does that. What is 500,000 Naira? Eh? So I should have set 500,000 Naira, Lucy, instead of keeping the real deal. All I'm saying is that you should stop acting stupid and try and retain your job. My sister, I'm not acting stupid. Your boss was right. Whatever happened between the both of you was consensual. Mm. So why do you want to blackmail him with that is the problem? It was consensual. Then why does he want to back out? Why? Why does he want to quit? No, he's going nowhere at all. I need a man. I need a man to keep. So you think you can get him by behaving like this? Yes, my sister. He has entered. He has to be here. Whether out of fear or out of love. He has to choose one. Okay, let me ask you a question. What if he decides to keep you as his mistress? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you do? The dream of every mistress is to become a madame someday. Yes. Mary Jean. Lucy. Hey. Hey, Guinea. What is your problem? Get to calling pot black. Don't you have a sugar daddy? Don't you stop me off. Ha! Huh. This girl. Hello, darling. Uh, hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, yes, I have an important meeting to attend, okay? I'll be coming back very late. You don't need to wait for me. You can just go to bed, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. What's going on? This is not the husband I know. Could he be seeing someone else? <laughs> is he cheating on me? I need your help with something. Yeah, what is it? I think my husband is cheating on me. Uh, what are you saying? I thought you said your husband is a good man. Yes, but well, he has changed. And the attitude is as a pattern is similar to that of a that of a cheating husband? Yes. So where do you want me to come in? I need someone to talk to. I don't want I don't want to make a mistake and accuse him wrongly. I don't want to lose him. Listen, you have to calm down, my darling. You're not going to lose your husband, okay? You know my condition. Maybe he's starting to get tired and, you know, contemplating on getting another woman. I just need to talk to someone. Can you come over, please? Um, right now, I'm still at the office. But do well to send me your address, okay? Once I'm leaving here, I'll come see you, okay? Thank you. All right, take care.
You said you wanted us to talk. You said. Mary Jane. Believe me when I tell you that I'm a very good man. I'm not trying to massage my ego. Neither am I trying to say that I'm infallible. I have made huge mistakes in the past. Mistakes that threatened to ruin my life. But I was fortunate enough to have had the opportunity to start on a fresh slate with my wife. This is my second marriage. I do not intend to sit back and watch it hit the rocks. Well, that's great. Your wife must be very lucky to have a man like you who doesn't want to use her. Yes, she is. And that is why I will do everything possible to protect my marriage. I will get you another job. I will call a few of my colleagues to help out. You will get a job that will pay you well. In addition, I will give you one million naira to start a life. All I want you to do for me is to put an end to this charade. I want a final stop to this nonsense. I am sick and tired of it. What kind of a man are you that is willing to throw away one million naira instead of dating a beautiful girl like me? I am a man of integrity. Hmm. A man of integrity indeed. So where was your integrity when you, you were sleeping with me? Where? Where did you keep it? The right, left, center? Where? But why should I settle for one million naira if he's willing to throw money around without even a proper blackmail or threat? That means there's a lot from where it's coming from. Maybe if I push a little harder, I will get a good settlement. But settlement for what exactly? Well, if we are done here, let me know, because I have somewhere important to go. I don't understand what is going on right here, because it's quite obvious to me that you do not have my time yet. When you do, you send for me. And of course, I will come. But for now, I don't have time for this nonsense. Besides, you are worth more than a millionaire. Excuse me.
Oh my darling, I'm so so sorry. I couldn't make it yesterday. It's fine. I it's had fine. so much work to do at the office. It's okay. So sorry. It's fine. Wow, we have a lovely place here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell me, mm. what exactly is happening to my friend? <sighs> my husband is acting strangely and I'm scared. Your husband? Mm. Have you tried talking to him? <sighs> yes, I have. But he wouldn't even listen. What if nothing is going on? You're just overthinking. No, I can feel it in my heart. I can feel that something is wrong. I can feel it in my heart. Uh, you know, this is my second marriage. Really? Yeah. I have no idea. Yes, I got married immediately after school. But he was so abusive. He cheated on me with, with my friends, colleagues. Name it. He almost ruined my life. Oh, that's really terrible. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. I never knew I could find love again until Namde came into the picture. Although he's a lot older than me, but he treats me with so much care and respect. I don't want to lose him. I know you, you won't just, don't even go there. You won't lose your husband. But on a second thought, what if he's, he's cheating? I mean, your husband. Hmm. Yes, because men of these days can't be trusted. He dares not. He dare not try it in my own house. How could he? Wait, what did you, your, your own house? Yes. This house is yours? I think my husband is back. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, uh, but, uh, no, that means I should get going. No, 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 no. Come on, stay with us. Have dinner with us. I'm going to call a cab for you, okay? I'm coming. Excuse me. That's all right. Wow. Woo. This is indeed a beautiful house. It all started like a joke. I wanted a rich man. A man who can take care of my needs. Someone who can shield me from the problems of this world. And I met him. The guy with the cash. Who would do anything to save his name. And here I am. Standing in his room. My catfish. Welcome, Emily. Thank you. My day was very hectic. Oh, sorry, baby. Um, yeah, yeah. My friend, maybe, maybe meet my husband. Oh, yes. My man. He is my man. Honey, Mary, my friend, I told you about her. Now you are trapped. Hello, sir. Hi. You see, Mary and I go from Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll be right back, okay? Are you sure? I can see. Let me just sit down. I'll be right back. Honey? Honey? What's going on? Why did you bring that lady to talk? She's my friend. She's the one I met the other day. Now go there and ask her to leave. Just Why? Wait. Why? Don't ask me stupid questions. Just go and tell her to go. What's good? What's good? I said tell her to go. What did I come over you? Stop questioning me. Tell her to go. Yes. Do you know my husband? 
Amara, you must obey my instruction. Send this lady out of this house this minute. Enough. What do you mean by that? I said enough. Enough, Nandi. What is wrong with you? For how long will you continue to lie to this innocent woman? For how long? Huh? What are you talking about? You asked a question before he arrived. You asked if I know your husband. You know, you want to know the truth? Yes. I know your husband. Don't listen to her. He is my boyfriend. Huh? Yes, he is. Are you not my boyfriend? I think I might be going overboard. But what do I care? She was the same person who mocked me for not being married. If this is his second marriage, then I'm sure she drove the first wife out so she can take her place. Get out of my house! Let go! Get, get out! Get out! Let, let go! Let go of me! I am not going anywhere! Have you lost your sanity? Now, you need to know everything. I'm just going to open up and tell you everything, how it has been happening. The same man I told you about. The same man that has been sleeping with me. Same man I've had series of abortions for. He is the man. What? Yes, if that's the truth. You, you said you've been suspecting your husband. Your suspicions are right. He has been cheating on you with me. Oh. Yes. Oh. But, 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 but. <laughs> hey, but, I, I am not done. So listen, it, it, it's not my fault. I mean, it hasn't been, I don't even, I didn't have a clue that this man is married. He even lied to me. I'm also a victim here. Can you imagine? I didn't know. Not to talk of married to my, my best friend. My own so far away from the university. You are a despicable man. Judas is a liar. You came to blackmail me in my own house? Who paid you to do this at a job? What nonsense are you talking about? I am speaking the truth and you know it. As a matter of fact, I don't know her. Hey. Say this man, oh. Now me, they say you don't know. You want me to tell your wife how? Don't even, don't let, don't let me to talk, oh. I said stop. I won't stop. And you want to lie? You want me to tell her how many times we've had, we've had it in, in the office? How you, you've removed my panties so many times? How you've, how you've kissed and sucked? Me every time you want me to tell her, Nadi, is this true? Amara, oh God, yes, mm. but okay, agreed. Mm. She, she works for me, she works for us. I know her, I didn't know it would get to this, I didn't, it was a mistake. It can be a mistake. It can only be called a mistake when it happens once. But it kept happening, it kept coming and coming and coming. Till now, my dear, it is not a mistake. You are a very wicked man. Listen, can you ask your husband why he came back home from the office late yesterday? That's because he was with me. He wouldn't let me go. He was the reason that I didn't come here yesterday. Yes. You want to lie? You want to tell more lies? Huh? Get out. You heard? Get out! Let them go! Get out! Now get out of my house now! Mm -hmm. Go! Get out of my house right now! Take your miserable self out of this place. Please listen to me. It's our house. Did I hear you say our house? Need I remind you? That the house, the company, dear mine. My late father bequeathed them to me. So get out of my house now! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I, I know I have wronged you. I know I have heard, okay? I said, out! Have mercy on me, at least for the sake of love, okay? I will give you time to heal. But always bear one thing in mind I love you, and I will always love you. Get out! I'm finished. Men, men, yeah. men are so. Oh goodness, my dear, get out. What? Get out of my house this minute, Amara Chupu. You have to listen to me. Men are wicked. Listen, I am also a victim here. This man lied to me. He made me to believe that he he's single and willing to mingle. I didn't know. I had no clue that he was married. Not to talk of. Being married to my best friend, of course, you know, I wouldn't do that to you. Listen, my dear friend, I have saved you. I've really saved you from years of heartbreak that this useless man would have cost you. Please. Mary Jane, with everything you believe in, 
I beg you to leave my house before I call the police on you. Get out! No problem. Get out! If you have decided that I'm going to to her, I will leave. But do not forget the good old days. Get out! No problem. But also, I remember everything we've been through. Remember. Get out of my house. <laughs> Get out of my house! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh no, 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 Are you happy? Hmm? Take a good look at you. Just look at you. You've ruined yourself. What are you saying? But you supported me all this while. Obviously! I sang you chants you wanted to hear, but I will never stoop so low to break it home. It was all fun when you were flirting with him till it turned into an obsession. How am I supposed to know that he's married to my friend? How am I supposed to know that he was married to your friend? But you knew he was married, didn't you? Uh. But what difference does it make? Well, that would have been enough reason for you to stay clear. Anyways, Mary Jane, you can't stay in this house anymore. What was that supposed to mean? Our rent has expired, and before the landlord throws us out, I intend getting myself a roommate that wouldn't have to remind that we have bills to pay. Excuse me. In other words, you, you, you're trying to throw me out, knowing full well that I do not have a job now. And where do you want me to go? But you had a job. A job that paid you money. But no, you were greedy. Maybe you should go and look for a home to break. Who knows this time? You might get lucky. Leave my house. Greed. Greed is so destructive. It destroys everything. How could I let myself lose everything even before having them? Oh, my goodness. Where do I go from here? <laughs> Welcome, ma. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, ma. Um, please, I'll do all the meeting for as well, okay? Okay, ma. Yeah. Sorry, forgive me. Agreed, I erred. But find a place in your heart to forgive me. I love you. I hold you in high esteem. My love for you is undying. It will never fade. Forgive me, Amara. I promise you it will never happen again. I feel as if I'm left out in the cold. Have mercy on me. I can't imagine going for someone without class. I guess she got too comfortable with class that she started to abuse it. Not at all. Forgive me, please. See, Mr. Namdi, okay, okay, I'm not ready to deal with another failed marriage, okay? Then let's fix this. Please, let's fix it. I promise I will make you happy. I promise never to break your heart again. That's a promise. Namdi, listen. There is no excuse for cheating. I'm good enough person to have forgiven you, but not stupid enough to trust you. And there is no relationship without trust. So, just leave my office. All I ask is a second chance. Leave my office. God. <laughs> Out of my office, please.
Okay, let's go. Everybody's hustling, everybody's bustling. They wanna make it no matter what it takes. Trying to survive one way or another. They'll be ready to do just anything. I call a phone, my in bad past. Nobody wants to carry last. Some people go way too far just to make it anyway. I call a phone, my in bad past. Nobody wants to carry last. Some people go way too far. But what goes around comes around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be the recipe for danger. Just the star. 